All right, this one's going to be for PlayStation 2 owners that has their, um, you know, PlayStation 2 modded or soft modded somehow using free Mac boot or free uh, HD boot, depending on what you're using. And this one's mainly for people who just want to transfer their games to and from using Linux because there's a bunch of tools on Windows, but I'm a Linux user, so I need to have tools that can, you know, manage games to uh, add or delete games. Uh, using just Linux, right? So you do need the adapter uh, to, you know, put in your hard drive and everything. And also, we're gonna use the um, USB method. So you do need a, uh, what is that? An IDE to USB uh, kit. So this one plugs into, you know, your IDE hard drive, and then goes out to a USB port. And this one's just the power here. So you need to have that. Anyways, uh, the tools that we're gonna use, or the software we're gonna use in this one here. It's called HDL Dump Helper, and this one is a Java front end to HDL Dump, which is a command line program. Hopefully, you understood that, but um, you can download from here. What is it called here? All right, so you can download from here. There's actually a bunch of other sites you can download from, but uh, this is where I got it from. And this one is version 2.3, so download that sucker, and I already have it here. This is a bar file and make sure you extract it. I already extracted it mine. But here is the folder that we're gonna go into. And we'll do HD. Now since these are well they have a different builds here. They have a Linux build and they have um a, a Windows build. But we're not gonna use Windows. And I heard this program actually works on um Macs also. I'm not sure about the executable, but uh, since this is a jar file it should work cross-platform because it is a uh, Java file but uh, I'm not sure about the uh, executable ones that will work on Macs or not anyways uh, what do you need to do in here make sure this file it has executable permissions uh, it is ready by default but if it wasn't you actually have to do chmod plus x uh, you know this one here All right and inside this files um, folder here um, let's go into that one here. There's actually two more files in here that you need to have executable permissions. So this one here uh, for Linux and this one here for Linux, you need to have chmod plus x for that. Um, what was that one here? This one. What was the other one? 90. So this uh, 86 one here and the 90 one here, make sure it has chmod plus x. And basically what that is, is that it will turn green now, and that means it has this little X here, that means you can actually use it, alright? Uh, if you want to do this on the GUI, what's that here? G open. This is for new users. Uh, the thing that we just did, you can actually do it from the GUI too. You can go right click on here, and go to permissions, you know, checkbox here. So if you're a new user and you want to use it like this way, you can do it like this. Properties, checkbox, and checkbox here, All right? Otherwise, we're gonna do it from the command line. You just use chmod, you know, whatever it is the file is at. Anyways, uh, since we now we have all that shit uh, that's done, that's requirements. Make sure you plug in your hard drive to your computer now. And now we're gonna execute it. You do dot slash launcher here. And this one will open the, um, you know, program. And since we're doing, uh, well, they have other settings in here. What is it here? Settings. If you want to change it to a different version for whatever reason, I'm not really sure which one is best, but I just left it as default. So you can change it there. If you want to change languages, they have a couple other ones. What is it here? DE. Uh, I think that's German. ES, Spanish. What the hell is CA? I don't know. BR is uh, Brazil, Portuguese, right? Whatever. Anyway, save that sucker and uh, you have a different language. All right. Uh, as far as this one, we're not going to do the network. I heard the network was really slow. Like, it'll take like an hour just for like one game. Uh, we don't want to do that. We want to use the uh, local hard drive here. And if you don't know like your device, like you don't know what your device it is, you can use uh what was that one called? Uh let's be okay. This one does not really help that much. This is actually the command I'm using here. 
What is that here? I'll post you this in the description, but I like using this one um, better than uh, the other way. All right. And this one will show you uh, a little more detail. I, I like it this way. But this is the last one that's been mounted, all right? And I know this is the hard drive because it's a 200 gig hard drive and this one's close to 200 gigs. And it is uh, hot plugs here, well, one. That means you can actually uh, unmount it. Um, and it has no file system type. I mean, Linux does detect that it has a hard drive, but you can't really mount it. Doesn't know what it is. Uh, it just knows that it exists. So if I open my uh, file manager here, you see it doesn't really show up that one here, the 200 gigs one, because it can't really uh, mount it, uh, something that it doesn't recognize. The only thing it recognizes is that it exists. That's about it. So anyways, we just need to know that this one's SDD for our example here. And that's what we're going to do. We do SDD here, right? And this one will tell us to type in our password. Now, the weird thing about this one is that it might not always work from here. So wh what is it doing? It's not doing nothing, right? You have to bust out your terminal again. And right now, you see that it tells us to type in our password again from our terminal here. So just type in your password. It's not going to show you your password, so just make sure, uh, you know, just type it in and then enter it. And that's it. Now it's mounted. You can see that it has, like, yellow lines if you have some stuff in there or not. But anyways, if you go to browser here, I actually have already have some games in here already uh, that I did on Windows a long time ago. But uh, if I do show list here, it will actually show all the games that I had in there. Right, so these are all the games I had in there a long time ago. And if I want to add more, I just go back to the install tab here. And I just find the ISO image. Where is it located at? Um, you know, I go in here and I, I pick up one game or whatever. Let's say, what do we got in here? Uh, UFC Throwdown, whatever, or maybe SmackDown versus, uh, let's do UFC here. Open, and I just hit install, and it'll do its job. I don't want to do it right now, but uh, it'll take, you know, it'll slow down my uh, my screencast. But you can actually change the name here while you're at it, right? You can change the name. Uh, don't mess with any of these other ones, because um, this is like the ID of the game, so you don't want to mess with that. And then you just hit install, and it'll do its job. Uh, once it's done, you'll see it on the list here. If you ever want to delete anything, there's the delete here. If you want to queue up jobs, um, let's do it here. If you want to queue up a job here, you add to uh, add to jobs here, right? We'll add it to the list. And if you want to add more, let's say we do it again here. We'll do um, I don't know, Tekken Four or something. Open, and we'll do this one. Delete the name of this. We we'll just call it Tekken Four. Add to jobs. Okay, once you add like a multiple uh, games or whatever, when you're done, you do do jobs and it'll do one by one or add it to um, your hard drive, right? And once it's uh, done, it'll show up in here. Pretty much it for the program. And, uh, you know, if you want to do from the hard drive uh, and you're on Linux, this is what you can do to um, manage it. You can't format with this program, though. That's the only thing. Otherwise, I wouldn't need uh, WinHip on Windows. But I guess you can do it from um, the HD loader program straight from your uh, your free McBoot if you wanted to format it that way. I think you can do that way too. Uh, and then you don't really need Windows. You just use Linux uh, for all your um, programs. Uh, if you don't have a fat uh, was that uh, PS2, you can actually use a slim one using Samba Share too. Maybe I'll talk about that another time. But uh, that's another way to play games on your PS2 without a hard drive. But this one is just for the hard drive, all right? Anyways, talk long enough. Uh, hopefully you understood that. Um, I really didn't see any videos that was in English and on Linux. So I had to make one of this because I, I, I like, I'm into like the soft modding and modding uh, consoles nowadays. Anyways. Uh, for the one or two of you that actually does this, uh, hopefully it helps you out. Otherwise, that'd be for this one.